My name is Dahlia Kirschbaum. I'm a researcher in the hydrology lab at, here at Goddard Space Flight Center, and my focus is landslide modeling. I grew up in Minnesota. We have flooding, we have drought. There are no landslides except in the northern areas of Minnesota, and very small, small ones at that. So looking at earthquakes or hurricanes was just such a crazy phenomena, and I loved the idea that nature was just so powerful. And that we could actually use data from above the earth to figure out what's happening on the surface and in the atmosphere. So I, I was always very interested in math and so all through school I kind of thought that I was going to be either a math major or do something with math. And then freshman year of college actually I took a very interesting class on different environmental issues and I found that I was really fascinated um, with natural disasters. But what I realized is that you can actually apply math and you can apply science to real world topics and you can use the um, information that you get or the, the results from your models to really help people and try to mitigate against these hazards. So I decided to go to um, graduate school with a focus in applying remotely sensed or satellite data to evaluate hazards, all different types of natural disasters. And my, in my dissertation I focused in landslides because I felt that it was a, a very underrepresented hazard in the grand scheme of natural disaster research. I really am looking in quite global scales and I'm, I'm trying to figure out how landslides are occurring and modeling the activity from everything from the local, you know, one hill slope scale to the regional level like Central America to then the global scale. Most of my studies were done in the computer lab or on, um, you know, looking at different models. But I did take some very interesting field trips during graduate school and even during undergrad to look at different rock formations, to look at, at kind of landslide scars. And what you realize is how, um, how important it is to really understand the total environment in order to really get a sense of what is causing these hazards. I think the most important thing is to, to continue um, learning and to continue kind of pushing what you think is interesting and find a way to get yourself there.